like eight minutes dance and then let me know it's eight minutes up and we'll do a little more talk. Please. Yeah, you can be showing um the different slides while I'm dancing. That's fine too. All set? Can I go now? Can I dance now or do I have to speak? All right, you, you have me recording, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. This, the program's title today is Rural Iowa Digital Pig House. That we've been all been waiting for. This old little slide from some frame from old video, 1999 or 2000, long time ago that I created. Very beloved, and uh, we have some today that we can show in the future, real regular uh, showing of the art. Probably at PATV, possibly in the UI, uh, no, no, at the Iowa City Public Okay, I gotta go, I'll dance, okay.
please forgive me. I forgot the mic. Here's the mic. I was soup. Title is Rural Iowa Digital Pig House. Many years ago, I think it was 1999, that the Central, uh, what is it called? CIWCA, Central Iowa Women's Caucus for Art, artists were gathering south of Iowa City. Uh, I think it was near or I, by uh, an artist's uh, location. She had the place there. It's called, uh, her name is uh, Elizabeth, uh, no, um, it's called, her name is Laura Elizabeth Talbot Hall. She's an artist, local artist, but she went to New York. Now I believe she's in <laughs> Wisconsin. I have not been kept in touch with her, but a mutual artist friend told me this. Anyway, uh, so that's how that came about, because we were, uh, uh, well, the thing is that I went, I do not have a car, I do not drive, I have not driven since 1998, I became medically disabled, so my blindness. And so I went, I asked a, uh, a poet, poetess, Iowa City poetess, her name is Martha Yolk, some of you may know her. Martha Yoke and she and I, we rented a car, we went down for a while, and we went to some farm, farms and taped some things, and some of it was the pig houses, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but the digitized came up with this very interesting slide, which still remained, and I do not know what, I did not know what happened to it. It was lost, among all my other stuff that I kept. Remember, I was moving, trying to move from Iowa City to Little Rock, Arkansas last year from January to 2-3rd of August. I tried. Didn't work out. Too expensive from a small community to a big city and also it's too hot for too long during the day down there maybe humid so forth so didn't make it so gotta move back. Been moving back ever since. <laughs> Uh, I have one, one more time to move back, uh, and I will be done. By the end of the month, I'll be done. I will be back in March. March 2nd, I'll be back, and to stay for, good for quite a long while before I will go and visit my sister again in Little Rock, and that will be next holiday season. That's of the 2012 year, year right? So that'll be quite later. So we'll just go through quickly these things. This one, of course, is from the one that I did uh, not uh, two weeks ago, I believe it's called Leap A New, remember? And we had beautiful, beautiful frogs, this light frog with the little toes. Oh, so great. I am so proud. And the three of us, we were, this, this was the total sync art, art of synchronicity, totally. Here I bounced the blue ball off the floor and it was hung in mid-air. It was suspended in mid-air while the frog leaped, right? Really lovely, yeah, yeah. Very, very grateful for this hair. And this one is the copy of original that I had written. It's a Chinese idiom that I had written for Mr. Tech Food, who is, or Mr. Tech, Mr. Tech Food, yes. Tech. He is the, he, he's supposed to be the manager for the dance floor, except today we have had, we have very fortunately had the assistance of Mr. Tom Herman, who did the floor for us. Thank you very much. And uh, so anyway, I will read this to you. It says, 最慈爱, the 母亲祝您福如东海寿比南山. Now that means, most loving mother, wishing you blessing like the East Sea and longevity like the South Mountain. That's the best anyone can publish anyone else in Chinese. Fu Ru Dong Hai, blessings like the East Sea, Shou Bi Nan Shan, longevity as the South Mountain. Yep, yep, yep. Just want you to know that in the future. So this is from an old, um, at one time I was talking about this beautiful uh, 
person, she, she's a, a poetess. Eighth and ninth century in China, from Sichuan province. She's a very, very bright person, of course, yeah. She learned how to write poetry. She was in Tang, Tang Chao, Tang Dynasty. And she did really good poetry, yeah. Very, very bright person. And uh, so here she is. She, she uh, someone else painted her. This is a silk painting, traditional silk painting or painting on silk about her, of her. She was making right here, making xin qian, making uh, little pieces of paper for writing letters. You know, people didn't have email before. They used to write little notes, yeah? Special paper, very fancy, yeah? Small, but very fancy. And so she did that, and uh, she has a well, and the xue tao jing, her name is xue tao, okay? And xue tao jing, that's the, the well, Xue Tao Jing, see, that's where she, she drew the water to, to make the paper, and the paper was deep red, it was very special, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what happens there. And this is a very, very special reflection, uh, Shadow Lake. I was very fortunate to have had the occasion to occupy uh, the apartment that's called, that is apartment 295, which is southeast of this long lake, this long, well, it's actually more of a pond, but uh, it has, they've added a beautiful uh, fountain at the other end, and also in the, in the winter time, it's very beautiful, yeah, you can see the waves and so forth. There's a few little ducks that, that are swimming by and so forth, but in the summertime, in warm days, a lot of uh, plants or cover up all the walls, you can't see all this beautifulness. So right now it's very nice because it's surrounded. It's called Shadow Lake, Shadow Lake Apartments. So you have Shadow Lake. Shadow Lake's a natural lake, but they built buildings around it. It's quite nice, it's very beautiful, actually. It's the best you can get down in Little Rock, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's me dancing right here. And I believe it was uh, Jamal, Jamal River, who helped me with this. So it's kind of interesting, I like that. This is even fun, more fun, I think. Me dancing with myself, yep, 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 yep. There's so many things, yep. Sometimes I, I have not had time to get everything. This is a fun thing, I love this. this is, when people get together, when the animals get together to celebrate the spring, for instance, or some other occasion, is that lovely, right? Little Piper doing the flute, yeah, yeah. All these different animals, just beautiful. Yeah, so lovely. Very grateful. This is a beautiful big tall tree. That big tall tree, some of you may be familiar with this, um, standing at the southwest corner of the crest uh, on campus, UI campus in Iowa City. And this is near that corner, which is Jefferson and Madison, near that, the tree nearest that. I love this, beautiful, yep, yep, yep. And this is near PATV on Dubuque, on Dubuque, a uh, few, how, few, oh, even south of that, there's, there's a railroad track up there, south of that railroad track, not too far from PATV. And uh, it's a big tall tree, there are three, in fact, there are three Catawba, it's called Catawba tree. I didn't know the name, I had to ask my friend. Um, I have a friend whose name is Linda Webster. She is Webster, yeah, she is a librarian. She's in Austin, Texas, and she told me what it's called. Catawba tree. And a uh, big, big tall tree, in the summertime, it will blow, it will, it will uh, bloom. The f beautiful, big, oh, white flowers, and this was very interesting. Uh, and so, actually, the day that it bloomed was, I believe, it was Memorial Day. Yes, yes, yes. It was Memorial Day, and I'm very grateful. And I was able to take a photo of it, and I want to share that with you all. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, so be, be, be look on the lookout for this beautiful, lovely tree when you can, okay? And this one um, was captured by, I believe, um, Emily Eschenfelter, who is a... Uh, long time staff of PATV Iowa City, and I was dancing, as you can see, you can recognize the blue ball there, and I was 
somehow dancing along in the snow. <laughs> of course, I did not realize at that point we did not have that that uh, big screen there, that big television set to show. But it's all very nice. And this is my friends. These are my friends. Yeah, these are my friends. Um, blind friends. They may not be totally sightlessly blind. The first person here's name is. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, no, 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 uh, Intasa, Intasa Duncan. She has a condition called uh, something. I forget, please forgive me. It, it, two words. It's about how a person's eyes, because of the genetic condition, they become more and more, uh, let's see, yeah. So less and less, yeah. Yeah, when they grow, and then they, they may lose their sight totally. I forget the name of it, it's two words. And the next lady here, her name is, um, uh, her, her last name is, let's see, she, she's the, the uh, what's her name now? Can somebody remember her name for me? Um, Intasar, no, 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 Intasar Duncan is this lady. This lady passed away. Uh, just after the Christmas party of 2010, she used to be the president of um, National Federation of the Blind of Iowa, of OCC, O Capital Chapter, which is Iowa City Chapter. And her name is, do we remember? Priscilla. P R I S C I L L A. Priscilla McKinley. Very sweet person. Never waste any time, just go on, keep going. Yeah. Yep, very, very efficient also. This lady's name is um, uh, Donna Prime. She is the current president. Yeah, yeah. She was the vice president. When, yeah, you, if you go on YouTube, you can see a program. I think it's still there. It's called Remembering Priscilla. It's 33 minutes long, I believe. It's quite nice. How are we doing on time, please? Thank you. And this is from a book. I think it's called Outside Christmas or something. And it's so beautiful with all these little mice. Little, uh, they are uh, angel, mice angels. Well, look at their ears, rounded ears. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Just love it. And every one of them has a, has a candle. Yeah, holding a candle. It's so beautiful. Yep, yep. This is still from that same book, Inside Outside Christmas, I think. Yeah, very beautiful. Inside love, outside love, just beautiful, yeah. This only, I only was able to capture some pages, not everything. Now I'm just, of course, thanking whoever wrote that book. I'm very grateful. Yeah, and here's, of course, Santa Claus with the uh, reindeers. And here we don't have Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, so we only have eight reindeers. And this one has, uh, oh, yeah, Merry Christmas, yeah. Very beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. Wouldn't that be nice to have all that snow? I don't think we don't, we don't have. Oh, we did have some more snow that that year. I don't remember what year this was. Could have been what 2005. What was it? 2008. I don't remember. But <laughs> it's so neat. It's out here, and I was dancing in the snow. <laughs> and I think Emily was. Yeah, she's the one who captured it. In fact, I think it's still there. This video is still there, and you can see it sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it's a very beautiful one, I love it. This is my favorite moon, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is from iMovie, iMovie 2, a long time ago. Thank you, thank you, we thank you, thank we The person we're coming up, thank you, we'll show him soon. This is Water Dragon, Water Dragon, yes, yes, yes. This is Water Dragon year. This is the person we need to thank. He's behind everything we do. He is behind everything we do. Founder of Apple, right? He passed, but everything he's done for us remain, and we are so grateful. We are able to enjoy our life. Would not be the same if he hadn't done it. He started. Of course, he's not the only one now. I mean, Apple has, what, 4,000 employees, something like this? Lots, lots of creative people, but he started. He and his partner, he was friend with uh, Steve Wozniak. Okay, he, Steve Wozniak, I think, was a few years older than him. 
and he was high school age, so they became partners when he was high school age already, and they were doing various things and prank, prank, pranks, so forth, doing stuff, you know. <laughs> but anyhow, but they also, you know, Steve Wozniak would create something and he would think of how to market it and he would go around selling it. Yeah, and it works out, yeah. So ended up with Apple and, and went into uh, make that wonderful stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shui Long, Water Dragon, Chinese character, Water Dragon, that's this year. Yep, yep. Very special. Shui is water and it's very soothing. So it eases, it calms the, the temper, fearless temper of the dragon, right? Dragon, yep. And this is again, that poster that I have made, one part was when, when I captured, it's from that video, uh, Leap at New, yeah, yeah, and the other, also from Leap at New, both. But see, I want everyone to come and dance. Remember, every four years, everyone must what? Right? Every four years, everyone must, okay? So, for the leap, leap the leap, the pre called leap the leap, it will be on the 29th day of February, which is a Wednesday. It will be, it will take place at PATV Iowa City here. And uh, you will have footage, so sorry I'm not physically being able to be here, but you will have my footage of me leaping and so on. And some other whoever possibly are doing also. And uh, I believe that's going to depend on Mr. Attack, Mr. Attack, for who, who is a long time staff member at PATV. And uh, yeah, he says he's going to do it. And I trust him, and he's going to do a good job. How many? How many minutes? 27. Three minutes, OK. Thank you. That's again, so I, I encourage people to come by, okay? Anyone can come and do the leaping, right? Because everyone must leap. Every first, everyone must leap, okay? Do come by, yeah. We must do that. That's very important, yeah? Yeah, every four years, everyone must leap, right? Every four years, we must leap, okay? Very important. That's again, that beautiful. I love this one because of the snow. Yeah, we didn't have that much snow though, but we did have some snow. Yeah, it was nice. And I danced in the snow. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm gonna do a bit more. We have a couple more minutes probably. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to do the music again? And then...